Blood. Peter Knudsen, Secret Sauce, vocals and guitar. Yes, sir. Tell, tell me a little bit about the, uh, the band. Well, the band, which is now called Secret Sauce as of about a week ago, we kind of just formed, we were all in jazz band together, and on Thursdays we just stay after band and just all jam together, and we had a really good time doing it, and uh, we just decided, hey, let's, you know, let's start a band, let's see what happens, you know, let's start playing real songs and playing shows and having fun, so, uh, I mean, about a couple months ago we actually started getting serious about it, and uh, started playing shows, and ever since we've just been having a lot of fun. So how long were you guys together informally? Um... Well, you could say that it started at the beginning of last semester, so last fall, because that's when we all started just staying after and jamming together, and, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. So then, Secret Sauce, how did that name come about? <laughs> How'd you land on Secret Sauce? Well, my Is buddy... Is there a particular meaning either? Um, I mean, that's up to you, I guess, side, but my buddy Kirk, drummer in the band, he, uh, he came up to me one day, and he was about like a week or two ago, actually, it's pretty recent, he was just like, man... I thought of the best name for our band because up until this point, we really hadn't had a solid name. We had like some goofy ones, like oh yeah, you know, just messing around. But up until this point, it just kind of been you know whatever. So he was like, "Hey man, you know, secret sauce. What do you think?" I like it. I mean, it just had like a ring. To it, you know? <laughs> like, I dig it. Yeah. So as far as like now that you guys have gotten serious, does that mean booking shows? Like, like what kind of stuff are you guys doing? To... Well, uh, my buddy Shane Geiger. He he helped book us for this last show we played at uh, Mississippi Pizza, and um, he had never heard us play before, but he was booking for the harm, so he decided you know, to book these guys too, and I was really nice and really grateful of him to do so. We really had a good time playing that show. Um, that was like our first actual formal show too, so it gave us like... With the harm? Yeah. Oh, like, wow. Before then, we had just been playing like house parties and stuff, you know? But it was like our first, you know, out of the town type of thing. You know? oh, but... Um, nice. So Shane was talking to me last night, and he, he really enjoyed a performance on um, on Thursday at Sleep Pizza, and he definitely uh, wanted to get all of our info and, you know, have us play shows again, and he was even talking about, you know, getting recordings out and having a manager and the potential of all those things. And, and have you guys done recordings <coughs> prior to that at all? Did you guys did you guys have any recording equipment or computers? Well, I mean, we've recorded a couple of our jams before, just like gaming on jazz tunes or whatever, but we haven't really had like a formal... You know, like let's go into a studio sort of thing. Oh, sure, but yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I've heard that those com- those computers, like sometimes they can work if you like record them individually. But yeah, I, did, I didn't know. Um, but cool. So now you got you got Shane Geiger um, with Red Thorn. Is he is he doing any recording stuff with you? Um, not exactly yet, but he's talking about it like future opportunities. Um, definitely somewhere down, down the road. Because right now we're sort of doing our own our own. Everyone's doing their own thing right now. You know. So. Oh, for sure. And uh, do you, are you guys prepared if you, if you would have an album come out? Like, do you have enough material to just give it a record and boom? I mean, that would require us to take a couple of weeks out and just like, hey, let's write some material. And right now we have a lot of, like, ideas going around, just like jam ideas. And I mean, most all of our stuff is based off of, like, pure improvisation, which is, you know, something jazz. Like, that's a big part of jazz music. And it's just sort of like, you know, just making it up as you go, sort of. It's like stream of consciousness writing, you know. Oh, definitely. You know, you can, you can equate it to that in terms of like something literary, but uh, it, and the, you know, like improvisation is just—it's so free and expressive. And there's no limitations, and it just lets you go anywhere you want within a huge, you know, infinite musical spectrum. You could say yeah. there's so much. There's definitely. so much out there, you know. So we, when you, when it comes to writing, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot inspired by improvisation. Do you compose a lot yourself? I do. Um, yeah, I have a band back home in Chicago, actually, that I've been in for like six years now, Ten Strike, and I've been a big writer uh, with those guys, and uh, usually how it goes is, you know, I'll have some ideas or compile some ideas together to like some sort of a song, you could say, and then I'll bring them in, like, hey guys, you know, let's check these out, and, uh, you know, we'll just jam on them, like, I'll tell them what key it's in, or like, what kind of feel I want, like, yeah, let's let's try like a Latin sort of thing, or like like a more hard rock feel, or like bluesy. Um, and then this time signature, so like play it like this fast, you know, sort of thing. So it's a little more experimental than mm-hmm. than your guys' is not jazz feature. Right. And uh, what's so great about that sort of thing is like, it, it's kind of like everyone's contributing their own thing. And it's like, you know, everyone's bringing something different to the table, and it's always different. Every time we play, you know, it's always 
like it's always more fun in some ways or like oh we gotta work on that sort of thing or like I was really dig what we what we did back in like you know that last jam when you hit that part and I was with you and like probably easier through the improv too because you can you can really see people with their uh, raw ability you know yeah um, so that's that's probably pretty cool too absolutely man absolutely too big. So I guess any influences to the the kind of music that, that you have been playing? I mean, you've gone all the way from ska to reggae to funk. I've heard you play even some like harder kind of stuff down in the basement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I guess you could say that. I mean, personally, I have influences in almost every genre of music there is. Um, really been getting into jazz lately, and like even like stuff like progressive metal, like really hard instrumental, like you know, pretty heavy stuff, but. I feel like a lot of the influences that come from uh, for this band, Secret Sauce, are more like funky jazz blues influences, and uh, we kind of idolize this one band, Lettuce. And they're this funk band out of Boston, and uh, they're just you know, it's the tightest modern funk you have to listen to. Them. So we kind of like you know like idolize them in this way that we kind of like base our sound off of them. But then we'll like approach, <clears throat> let's say like you know like a Steve Wonder song if we want to play that. We'll approach it like from their perspective, like how they play it. Like, but we we always put our little spin on it too. So you know I guess you could say it's more of a, a subjective thing too. You know? oh, that's pretty cool. I remember the the show on Thursday. You guys played a cover from John Mayer. Oh yeah, John Mayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was totally right. What song was that? Yeah. Again? Vultures. Vultures. Yeah. 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 It's a good tune. Yeah, so, like, are there some other influences? We have, like, more bluesier traditional influences, too, and that mostly comes from me and Kirk. Uh, we, you know, we, we dig all the bluesy hard rock stuff, too. Um, is, that comes from his trio band, right? He's got, like, a, a full-on... Like, John Mayer? Yeah, does he have, like, yeah. a separate... Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, he's got that trio project. The other stuff he's been writing, I'm not a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. I, I really like what he did with the trio, though, the bluesy stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, definitely. Well, any, yeah. any other things you'd like to add? Um, well, uh, I mean, we're, we're all having a lot of fun, and we hope to just keep going with this and see what happens, and, you know, whatever the future brings, we'll take advantage of it, yeah. Well, excellent. Yeah. Well, nice to have you, Peter. Yeah, good to be well, here, man. Good to see you soon. Next upcoming shows. All right. Cheers.